and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This one's for you, man. My model, Doc Ball. Apologies for the abrupt end of my time. It just, I had been recording for a while and it was getting late at night. So, yeah. And. But, yeah, I'm back now. So, what can I speak in my facility spot? Where the hell are you, Chris? This little game is wrong. Fine. It's then this time then. Was my approach wrong? Yeah, I guess. First is fine, you just phrase these guys strangely. Like you're interested, but you don't want to seem too interested. He's hilarious. Yes. <laughs> this could lead to him being killed right then and there. Um, any of these could really. Probably. Um, I guess this is hilarious to ask me. Oh, also. You ran with yourself again. Snow white ashes. What's that? Ha. Huh. Oh, Alright, yeah, I think I already saw this. In fact, I think I saw Molly play this. I remember correctly. Looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, I did see him play this. Holly Girl got came, who introduced me to this? Yeah, it was a pretty cool, pretty interesting playthrough she did. A well, partial playthrough because it's not completed yet. Yeah. Last time we did that was when we first met. I did not grapple that. <laughs> What's this do? You did? I screwed. Set the the rest of the at later. Huh? Why? Why would you put a board to look at them again? Honestly? At first because I thought it was kind of funny. So I kept off your laugh. I do not intend to amuse you. I was being quite serious. I know you were. That made me even funnier. Oh jeez. Oh how pleased I am to amuse you. I will never have lived with this cat who knocked my soul. What if such a take on a high school boyfriend would not? Uh, I forget her name, but she says, Carved into your soul. She says, Carved into your soul, kid. I uh, can't believe I can't remember her name, but yeah, she could. Her uh, sort of catchphrase. May they forever sing melodies about how I, the best reaper around, was be able to amuse a mortal girl. I have truly broken out of the shell that defines us reapers. <laughs> okay, I gotta know, what, what is this? Oh, it's an itchy old thing, so never mind. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't do it here, as I said. It doesn't let you have achievements, nothing. This is what the Reapers have silver, so, alright? They don't. They are not crabs. You sure? You hit none of the tortoises. Yeah, I know, jeez. There's plenty of animals with chill. That's awesome. I gotta try this. Do they play those ninja tortoises then? Excuse me? Do I look like a ninja to you? <laughs> oh damn, that second one. <laughs> Actually, ninjas in real life, uh, in fact, when they existed, they didn't look, they didn't have any specific look. They could be just about anyone. Just, uh, they would try to blend in, so they would just uh, dress normally like anyone else. 
it was the whole thing with the whole black flag mask thing uh, came back from um, in uh, in plays there would be dudes that would be just like that that would move around the backgrounds and the West uh, got the idea that that was what a ninja looks like but in reality they didn't really have a specific look I know that from reading a thing called the D-Text book or yeah, it uh, has all kinds of useful uh, historical information um, that uh and it's awesome the cover of it. It has William Shakespeare as Billy the Puppet from the Saw movies because it turns out that in some Shakespeare's plays he got really, really dark and brutal. I, uh, I'll spare you the details in case you're screaming, ladies and gentlemen, but yeah. You have to double kiss Reaper vibes. No, simply enough, no. They're extremely different. Reapers have structure, order. Not safe thing for, to save for any ninja I've met. I know, I, I didn't think you were a ninja expert, kid. <laughs> I mean, I just assume. So that's how it is. Do you think this uh, is hard? Well, there was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which is what that was based on. Uh, say Ninja Tortoises. That Ninja Rap that was in, uh, I think, the second movie of that. I think those songs about probably most things. But how about you? See? Yeah, there you go. See, the Ninjas do have someone up on you. <laughs> <laughs> Should I look for someone to make a pretty song about you? No. If they have a song songs about me, I'd have to resort to drastic measures to silence them. You know, it's funny you should say that, Jim, because I actually have written a song about uh, Sawin. I've been wanting to view it for a while now, but I never really saw the chance to uh it's um it's called the ballad of sawin sawin me the original names so i said that halloween and uh although i don't have the organ music because i don't know how to play the organ i don't have any money to play it for me or nothing i'm gonna sing it right here now the dead don't rise up from the graves for death of velmosteen a cackle to thy other skeletons that we are now what's sawin no mere mortal can resist the uncanny howling dean. It's in the air, it's everywhere, the magic of Sawin. But don't forget what really matters those who on this night are gone from us, leaving hearts in tatters and people weeping in plight. They are the, reason, the ones for whom we have the origins of this fun, and so be sure to remember them when all is said and done. And there's a moment of silence for those who have passed. And then the music stands back up again. All the creatures of the night now join their winter kin. I'll win my voice, they now rejoice in the glory of the wind. Tell me what you're thinking of it, ladies and gentlemen, in the comments section. I'd be honored to know your thoughts. Because uh, that's what. Uh, the original meaning of Halloween was Sawin uh, was uh, the dead were rising up from the graves because the veil between light and death was at the, its thinnest. And that's where um, the idea of dressing as undead came from. Uh, so as not to be attacked by undead spirits. And trick or treating evolved out of leaving uh, food out outside of homes for the dead to partake in, the undead. After all, being a reaper is a secret. If they know my deeds, they would need to be taken care of. Wow, that's a little extreme. But be 
be an appropriate response. I know, right? I'm not sure about appropriate. I really do think some sort of theme song would feel pretty much though. Let's find someone to sing it. Interesting, okay, so what's going to happen now? You wouldn't uh... I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? Both of these. Yeah, I definitely would. You wouldn't. You would just be dramatic, as per usual. That's funny coming from you. Maybe I should look for proposers right now. Oh, stop giving me that look. What book is that exactly? I think I'm so menacing, Luke. But that's what I, you think it is. It's more like a... Please boy me or please cheat me gently, oh jeez. Oh, both of these are just plain mean. Um, I guess this. What does a please treat me gently look exactly? Do I look gentle to you? You look like you... You don't have to look to the be one street joke again. Don't worry, I can see past the bad boy aesthetic. This little dude gets easily flustered each be taken care of, oh jeez. I literally am not that. Little scrumply, what? Princess baby girl, oh damn. What, what's scrumply even mean? Man to be feared. Oh jeez. <laughs> yeah, right, I don't blame him. Not quite as precious as the tread on me though. How is that thing more precious to me? It's so competitive sometimes. I just think you couldn't compare me to a pet of all things. Okay. Now this is a now this is a worthy beast for one who defies the grim reaper himself. Terrifying creatures represent the cycles of birth, death, and rebirth. <laughs> He's just a little dangerous, actually. Not scared or terrifying in the slightest. Oh. Not as cute as me. I know, right? <laughs> I knew he was going to be muttering that. <laughs> what did you just mutter? I said I don't know about you. Fearsome, strong, cute, I suppose. By the way, why is that so you can't take my tool, Mr. Reaper? There's nothing wrong with take my time. Someone's struggling. You seem to be a very long time now. I know, right? Two days and your soul's mine, remember? I do not struggle. <laughs> that will not be happening. Strictly if Pete speaking, I'm just as likely to win this bet as you are. The other fools or something. Reaper outclasses a human in every way. Statistically, you cannot win. I think I've done a pretty decent job so far. Considering I'm still, you know, alive, I know, right? If you're just thing, you have until the best possible moment. Or maybe you just can't take it. <laughs> you are fortunate, you know. Fortunate I was the Reaper assigned to your case. Though they would not put up with you like I do. Why not take it? That's enough for me to go chatter. What were you doing, mortal? Right now? Talking to you? That was as obvious. Y you and your small brain. It's very wrinkly, though. Indeed, I've heard that every time you read a book, another new wrinkle forms in your brain. My goal is to keep reading until I die and have more wrinkles on my brain, in my brain, than on my skin, 
because I intend to die at ripe old age. I meant before that I apologize for God. I have to be awfully clear with you. Someone's being nosy. Hehehehe, <laughs> jeez, what's this guy do? Don't make assumptions. Jim wants to throw at my day. You are just utterly ridiculous. Just answer the question. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Assistant. Well, hmm, before your 50 questions, there wasn't 50. But nowhere near 50. With that poor counting. You were nearly 50 questions I was. Well, not doing much for actually hanging around my apartment. Judge Shami was electing a little strange today. I thought he might be getting sick. But he perked right up. I suppose I just have a healing presence. Maybe you do. I actually just got home from work by half the next few days off. You do. But I know I'll be fine anyway. So I'm just gonna enjoy my little home vacation. I see. Your plans for later. <laughs> but it's a party! <laughs> yeah, why not? Interesting. You do not seem like the party type. I could be. Start right now, and will you? What? Ah. I said, What? So, I'll probably stay here. Stay right there. Huh? Hope oh, this works for me. Okay, that's mysterious. I know, right? <laughs> okay, what's the start read? Yoga class day? It's not time for a goodbye yet. Wait. Uh, what exactly am I waiting for? Just do what you're told. And when have I ever done that? Indeed, that's not the American way. American way is doing your own thing. Let's make this your first time then. I know, right? What gives? Good crew. Now just wait. Woof woof! Oh jeez! <laughs> wow. Yes, sir. Hang back from your computer. You're not sure what you're waiting for, so that's the only way to hang out until you mess with you again. Spend a little time with Dark Shadow on me and take the moisture on your spread. Bet you can't find anything fun to do while you. What about all those books? We have this computer. Honestly, where is he? So, well, just have a penny if we come and talk to him. I know, right? Lay back any bad stay at the ceiling. You only met him a few five days ago, but it feels like a lifetime we've known each other. Besides, put aside the fact that he's the grim reaper, I honestly never enjoyed so much company as much as this. It's a little confusing. You know full well that the strange feeling is your heart is, but you, you try to put it aside. As far as talking to you, it is, it's still a good effect. Wander back over again for you. It's been over around 30 minutes now. There's still nothing. At this point, you go turn away and you, you see an oncoming call. Okay, what's going to happen now? Welcome back. Look up. You look up from your computer out towards the night sky. Uh, and now on the other end of your closed window, you can see something so surprising, you sure you must be imagining it. Oh, what's this? <laughs> okay, then. I know, right? <laughs> I'm great now seeing things. I just want to see how long. I know, right? What are you doing here? Now that face is priceless. 
well worth the trip here, I have to say. Crim? Don't call me that to my face. It's embarrassing enough to hear it over our calls. <sighs> Casper? Are you serious? <laughs> okay, now that's embarrassing. Casper's name are the friendliest ghosts you know. And you're supposed to be Mr. Death himself. Come on, man. I know, right? How do you respond to that? Yeah, I know, right? Casper. Hello, Simpson. You look like you've seen a ghost. Maybe I have. Oh, jeez. Uh, I really need to self stop projecting on the characters, especially female ones. Um, okay, yeah, I'm sure, I guess. I fall for ghost crazy. So, so you think you're pretty? Oh, jeez. No. I'll admit you are, though. Oh. Which you should know to be truthful. Because, as you know, I cannot lie. Right, am I flustering you? You're blushing right now. No, no pain. <laughs> <laughs> just a little warm, you know? Yeah, yeah. Why not? You are an attractive mortal, and so I'm right to tell you so. You usually call me stupid or annoying. You are those things. I <clears throat> like all of that about you. I know, right? You're a lot more forward in person. Yes, well, it's confusing to be as well, trust me. Seeing like this. Messes with my feelings make you say strange things. What bother the truth, though? It's no need to be shy anyway. You're attractive, that is nothing to be shy about. You're staying too much, Sam. Uh, nice to see you looking flustered for a change. Then, Casper. Casper, then, yes, mortal. How are you even here? I live on the fifth floor. You do. Not too much for the inconvenience for me, luckily. How are you even standing, sitting? What are you doing there? I know, right? I'm neither standing nor sitting. Congratulations, we you like the board. But you'll find I'm floating. I know, right? It doesn't make sense. So being the Grim Reaper is fine belief. So being a Grim Reaper is fine belief. But you draw the line of floating. Alright, fair point. Is it magic? Something like that. It's quite simple. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh man. Let's see if there's a log thing now. Something went wrong would be my fault. And of course it would be make, breaking too many rules. Oh, you can see you can Maybe I'm just not fine of cleaning you up off the floor. Maybe you just want a minute. Wait a minute, you kind of can No limitation, that's just for you. Boo. <laughs> Wait! Can't people see you? You think I'd be so careless? No. I'm casting that. Okay. Is so are you invisible then? Invisible? No. I've taken another form to everyone's eyes but yours. So my neighbors are going to see a mysterious band floating us in the window? Nice! The Raven! Perfect! Edgar Allan Poe is absolutely then the speaker's name is poem about the raven and visiting him in, in the middle of the night and saying about how he could never get his lost love back. I'll put the link to that in the description the reading of that poem that I did. Yeah, I know, I was, I was thinking he was going to be a bat. Raven, of course. Not a good choice. 
Oh, I thought that was a good source myself. That's just why I said, said that. Protects will side to you sometimes. But I do need to know. Yes? How exactly do you find me? You think I don't know where you've lived? I never told you. I know everything about you, Sunshine. So I seem to come to claim it? I saw that is. I had a good run, I suppose. No, I'm actually not here for that. Oh, a Peter Pan, what's that even mean? Yeah, there you go. You've come to whisk me away. That depends. On what? Do you want to be whisked away? I wouldn't say no. How often do you forget? Do I get to fly around the nice sky? I'm guessing that isn't what you're here for. Don't tell me. There's something else I'm here for today. You see, sunshine. I have something. Um, something here with me hidden. Something to give you here. Flowers? You said you got some. You, you got the flowers? I didn't think you were asking what type of flowers you'd like, so picked ones that looked like you. The brightest, sunniest flower I could find. I know, right? How do you respond to that? <laughs> Casper. You know, if she wants to be gone, I have to open the window. Oh, of course. Are you inviting me in? I promise to try to be good. What if I don't want you to be good? Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. And please, do come in. Sleep. Please, by the invitation. Maybe next time. Too. But you will have to open this crack you want these. Okay, this is. This could very well be the final decision. Oops. And how appropriate that it would be number 13. Quite the risk taker, aren't you? You tell me I should be scared? Simply making the observation. What fun would life be if you we weren't taking them if it's a few risks, you There you go. Okay. Your hands are really warm. I know, right? I was going to say, if you wear his gloves, how can you feel that? Do you also Really cold, even through the gloves. Oh, jeez. I'll oh, break the flowers, though. I thought she was talking about his hands at first. I was going to say, uh, piss him off. Oh, how could he ask me? Yeah, okay, good. I meant the flowers. I meant the flowers. Oh, jeez. But your hands are quite pretty, too, now you must think. Let's see, your hands are also. Very, um, What are you whispering about now? I really must be on my way. Cops is the thing I want to do. So soon? Duty always comes. What is this still saying? Better theirs than yours, wouldn't you say? No, you can just stand it over now if you want. Better get to work before you enjoy my little evening. This is one of my yours. Since right now, since it's it. Um, hmm. I'm surprised that wasn't the final decision. That would have been cool if it had been the final decision and I saved number 13. Oh well. Um, whatever, why not? Uh, don't be damn so good to hear. I'm so demanding. That's pretty Be careful. Since you have so best, I'll try my best.
Don't forget to close that window after I leave. When not want even crawl in when you aren't looking. Fifth day, complete day five. Achieve it unlocked. Okay, so that's gonna be the end of this chapter, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know what I'm doing? Please consider subscribing. I will sub back fairly well.